What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with more tech, more reviews. Now, I've done a full review on this device before, but I got a lot of questions, and I'm going to keep on doing reviews on tons of devices that I've shown you guys before, but a lot of people want to know, is this a still a good buy for your iPad Pro 2020? This is the Basus 6-in-1 Hub, and we're going to be checking this thing out right now. So if you notice the actual build on this USB type C right here, and then right here, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, you got USB type C power pass through for up to 60 Watts, micro SD card reader, SD card reader, HDMI that goes up to 4K. And then you have a USB 3.0 right there on the end. Speaker grills on the front, and it actually has a detachable magnetic piece on the inside so that you can either put it on your keyboard or your tablet directly. When you take this out, it actually fits on your Apple keyboard, your smart keyboard folio. And when you put this piece in, it actually goes directly onto the tablet. Now, this is a very slim form factor. Uh, it's gonna be very portable. It's one of my favorite hubs because it basically just sticks to the iPad. And I'm going to show you what I mean right here. Basically, with the little insert in, you're going to latch it onto the side of the iPad. You're going to pop it in the USB Type-C right there. And then you get a connection symbol letting you know that you are connected and it is good to go. Now, once you actually do this, you have free reign, and I'll just take this off, to use any of these ports. And you do get an LED that lights up once it's connected to the iPad, letting you know that you do have power. Now, this will drain your battery. It's not a high rate of drain, but it will drain your battery. And notice your speaker slots are cut out really nice. They match up over that speaker, so you're not covering up the speaker grill. As far as data transfer, this thing goes up to five gigabytes per second. When you're using data transfer, I have two SSD right here. I'm just gonna plug in. The T5 is the easiest one to use because it's not password protected right now. So I'm just gonna plug this one in. So we're actually gonna plug into the USB 3.0 that's right up top. And I'm just gonna get it plugged in, sit that right there, go into my files, T5 pops up. And this file right here is like uh, a gigabyte or something. I wanna select that one. I'm going to now share it. And I want to actually save it to files. I want to put it on my iPad. And I'm just going to leave it in the movie folder. Hit save. And it's just going to do its thing. And you shouldn't have to wait very long. Boom. There we go. Go over to my iPad. Scroll down. Find my movies. And there we go. That file went over. No problems. Quick, easy, nice, and very solid. So for those of you who are still using wired headphones, you still can put your 3.5 millimeter adapter in there, but most people have a pair of wireless headphones or you have some type of wireless earbud that you can use with your device. So I would just use that option rather than using the wired device, but you still have that option with that headphone jack. Next up is the actual 4K output. Now I don't have a 4K screen to show you guys, but I can show you guys how this is going to look on a regular screen and it still looks really good. There's no lag, there's no timeouts. Everything is nice and fluid. You still get great sound through here. You still get great picture. Everything is good with that 4K uh, HDMI adapter. So like I said, it also has the micro SD card and the SD card slot. You know what that's for, for memory. Still get fast data transfer on that. And this thing is gonna run you about 50 bucks. I think it's a really good buy because you're gonna get a chance to use all those peripherals that you normally would not get your hands on. And you got six in one. Like I said, you have 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter. You get the 3.0 USB. You get the 60 watt power pass through. You get the SD card. You get the micro SD card. Then you also get the 4K HDMI, which is a great deal for that price point. I've been using this hub for a while now and I really recommend it. Like I said, I had this thing for six to seven months now and I keep it on hand, always close by. Just for those times when I need to hook up and I got everything I need. I got all my cables, everything, all my wires with me at all times. You never know when you might run into a situation where you have to project your screen and it actually works out really well. 
So I'll be sure and drop a link below so you can check this hub out for yourself. Like I said, this is the Base Us 6-in-1 USB Type-C. It's very minimalistic. It really doesn't take up a whole lot of space. You can see it just hooks on to the iPad, stays there, doesn't fall off, doesn't wiggle, and you get the separate configuration when you connect this to your smart keyboard, which I don't have a smart keyboard for this yet, uh, but I will be checking this out when the actual um, Magic Keyboard comes out. So like I said, link will be below. Hopefully this is able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up and please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.